Uh, Irene Kaplan is um, um, from New York, and Irene has a story to tell about how after many, many years of being in a custodial care adult home and segregated from the mainstream there, um, she was able to leave and uh, live in the community with support and uh, Irene gave testimony in the New York case, which I understand was pretty compelling, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Irene Kaplan. Thank you, and, and yes, I keep hearing from people that it was very compelling. Um, all I did was tell the truth. Up until about 20 years ago, I was independent, had my own apartment, had a job, Everything fell apart, and I wound up on the street. No place to go. My final decision was to have myself admitted to a psychiatric hospital because I was starting to get very sick. I was having respiratory infections constantly. And I wasn't happy with that, and I wasn't happy with the fact that I wasn't getting any place getting help to find a new apartment. At that time, the... Um, services were very, very limited, or whatever there were, were kept deep, dark secrets. From the hospital, I went into the adult home simply because that was the only thing offered. It was either one home or another home. The other home was not too comfortable for me. The first home, or rather the second home, I mean, it was better, but even then, I did not want to be there. I had already started filling out papers for housing before I left the hospital, and the stay there was only about six weeks. And I had somebody on the outside as a therapist who thought it wasn't her job to find me an apartment. P.S. I can't do psychosocial reports, I can't do psychiatric reports, and I can't do medical reports. I'm not qualified. And that's a big word there, qualified. At this point in time, I think I'm qualified when it comes to the adult home situation. And I have to say some are better than others. But still, in all, it's not a home-like environment for the people in the homes. I went in with the understanding that I would be able to get out in a very, very short time, and it didn't happen. It just did not happen. I got no help from the home. As time went on, what I saw was that the home actively discouraged people from moving. I've seen people threatened with hospitalization because they wanted to move and had succeeded in finding something but they were afraid to leave the home because they didn't want to be put in the hospital. They didn't want to be tracked down by the police. <clears throat> I've seen that happen. One of the biggest reasons I got so deeply involved with CAD and Olmst the Olmstead case is that I saw some people get out of the home, not very many, very, very few. Most of them wound up back in the home. I didn't want that. I wanted out on a permanent basis. Working with CAD has given me the tools to be able to make this happen, along with a number of other people. <coughs> it's been a long journey. We've had our ups and downs. We've had our lack of funding. We've had lawsuits taken against us as, as people disturbing the peace in the homes. I was not personally involved in any of those lawsuits but our staff was, which to me seems to be a little bit ridiculous because it usually rebounds against the person bringing the suit simply because when we talk about the conditions in the homes, we're telling the truth, the terrible, terrible truth. The homes are not homes, they're institutions considered an industry by adult home owners. I'm not an industrial product. I'm a human being. Yes, I'm out of the home. And man, am I happy. I have my cat who's been with me for 10 years. I can feed myself 
make my decisions about what I'm going to eat, when I'm going to eat, do my own laundry. I don't even hide anymore. I'm out more often than I'm in. I make excuses to go shopping just to get out and, and see the world and see people around me. And the strange thing is that wherever I go now, I'm in an area that's mostly Jamaican, people will smile at me and say, how do you do, how are you doing, can I give you a hand? It's great. I could go on for a lot longer, but I'm being told. <laughs> <laughs>